Hello everyone, welcome back to the Double Life Challenge. So, um, throwing you a little curveball this week, you may not recognize this. In fact, no, you not you may. You do not recognize this because you have never seen this house before unless you have downloaded the original build by a very talented person on Mod The Sims. The link to the original build is in the description below. Go check it out. Very talented guy. I just had to edit the interior a lot. But anyway, this is a new location, as you will notice. Very ocean-like landscape going on here. And in the background, that is actually the club where Lucy and Chris met. That is where all of the tea began. So, yeah. Uh, so I know that Chris technically had one more day with Emma and the kids. And he's still there. But I got bored, so I he's I let him have his third day, but I am no longer in that household. I am with, you guessed it, Lucy and Gobias. We are in Gobias's household. That's right, you guys. Yeet. <laughs> so this is Gobias's house, and this is not the house, obviously. This is not the house that came with him like originally in Sunset Valley. His house is actually right next door. It is right over there. It's ugly as all. It's ju it's just terrible. And I know it actually I don't have like distant lots loading. I had that option turned off, but like it's basically just as ugly as that. Um so um I know I said I was going to do a makeover, not a makeover. Um like a uh, what the heck? Just like fixing. A f I keep wanting to say fixer upper because that's what Little Simsy calls them, but I can't. A renovation. Thank you. That is that's that's a word. I wanted to do a renovation of his house and then put it, you know, make it into a speed build one week, but it ended up being so beyond help that I just couldn't do it anymore. I gave up, and I downloaded a modern beach house from Mod The Sims, and this is what I came with came up with and it required a lot of expansion packs that it didn't have and stuff packs and everything so as usual I had to refurnish everything myself but you know here's just a basic overview and I mean you'll see more of it as we play but um, all of the bedrooms are on the first floor which I thought was kind of odd but I guess the way the patios are structured it makes sense this is an office for go bias bathroom uh, the girls bathroom this is little Sophia's little nursery uh, master bedroom master bath um, what's his name? Uh, Duncan's bedroom and Duncan's bathroom. So yeah, that's, that is the basic overview there. And we're just gonna get on right to it. So I'm gonna put the walls down. Everything is super cute though. I mean, like, I did, I love this little nursery. I love, love this nursery. It's so cute. Again, all of the CC you can find on my Tumblr. It's all linked. Just, you know, you know, you know. So here we go. Everyone's needs are good because that's what happens when you, like, switch households. Um, so Duncan, Duncan, baby, what you up to, buddy? Hi, buddy. You're so cute. Um, he's just playing in there. Um, oh, beginning lag is gonna happen soon. There we go. Um, okay. Everyone is just, I don't really know what to do right now. Everyone, everyone is good. Um, look at that. Are they... Okay, they're not dating yet. They're romantic interests. So I have a plan for this episode, guys. And I think you're going to like it. I think you're going to enjoy it very much. Wants to learn the fishing skill. You know, maybe. Um, okay. And this is completely coincidental. As soon as I got into this household, Gobias and Lucy both had the wish to get married. So... Um, I say we let that happen. That's just my opinion. <laughs> so, you know what, Lucy? Oh, wait, Duncan knows everything already, right? Yeah, he's he's good. In fact, Duncan's birthday is tomorrow, so that's cool. And I have a plan for that as well, but I just want to make sure I have aging on long. I do. Okay, so I'm going to have Lucy come and watch TV. Actually, wait. All right, so Lucy basically has a sugar daddy now, so she does not need her job anymore. So we are going to quit work. Let's do it. She's had enough of working that grocery job. 
She, you know, tried to make an honest woman out of herself. Oh god, my camera work sucks. Yes, quit. Yes, queen. Yes. Lucy has quit her job. Indeed. In freaking deed. She has worked hard enough for too long. She deserves this, right? And her kid is so cute. Look at this baby. I love him. He's so cute. I love him. Okay, so she quit her job. Also, we're gonna hire a maid because we're rich. Right? Right? Come on. Um... Yeah, so... Lucy is, is really, like, moving up in the world. Okay, actually, we're gonna cancel the delivery of the newspaper because nobody needs that. Call for more services. What a riveting episode this is. Riveting content. Um, and she got out of that place of work that she was in, you know, that club that's in the on the beach over there somewhere. Um, maid. We don't need a butler. I think that's a bit excessive, so whatever. Um, Lucy can cook, it's fine, but cleaning, nah. House is too big to clean, in my opinion. I do enough cl cleaning in the Victorian Servitude Challenge. Let's be real. Okay, Sophia is doing great. Lucy, you're gonna get your fun up, and you're gonna watch TV. Gobias gets out of work at 2 p.m., and he's going to ask Lucy out on a date immediately. The plan is to get them to be romantic interests, like, as soon as possible. Because, once again, your girl has a plan. So we're just gonna, you know, chill out. But yeah, as I was saying, Lucy, you know, she used... Not used, but like... Like, Chris helped her get out of that situation that she was in at her... At the club. She was a stripper, and she was performing other unsavory acts... Um, you know, that a moral upstanding woman would disagree with. And, you know, she was unhappy with her life, obviously. And she met Chris, and he turned that all around for her, and he gave her Duncan, you know, a purpose, a reason to, you know, fight. And he gave, oh, the maid's done, look at that. Um, and he gave her hope for a future. And so, you know, she knew that it, that, you know, leaving the club was going to be difficult because, you know, she had steady income there, but leaving, we'd, we'd be taking away her steady income and, you know, she had to find a lower paying job, but she figured working at the grocery would, you know, make an honest woman of her. And for a while it did, but she just wasn't happy doing it. Not even the job. She, Chris just, like I said, he gave her hope, but time and time again, he proved that this hope was false because he never was going to commit to her and no matter how many children they had together I mean even though Sophia was not exactly his no matter how many children they seemingly had together it just wasn't going to be enough to make him commit and she was tired of that and she's tired of her job at the grocery and she's tired of waiting around for him on all these quote business trips because she doesn't realize that he's still with his wife like She's just tired of waiting around, and she just wants to get with Gobias because he's promising her the future that she always wanted. He's going to make an honor an honorable woman out of her without even having to do anything. She doesn't have to do anything except give him love and devotion. And while, yeah, she loves Chris a lot more just because they're closer in age and they have more in common, like, she genuinely does love Chris, but she also has a soft spot for Go Bias, and she knows she can make him happy and he can make her happy, and, you know, in the end, that's all that really matters. And speak of the devil, he is home. Go to a dance club. I mean, perhaps. We're not gonna go to the club where you, Lucy used to work, though. I think that'd be a bit insensitive. Okay, stop watching TV. Why don't you come over here and give your man a little smooch? Give your mans a little smooch. Come on. Let's do this. Flirt. I mean, we'll do that. Oh, he wants to flirt too. They have all the same wishes, don't they? Okay. 
Kiss him. Kiss him, kiss him, kiss him. Do it, do it. Ooh, yes. Yes. Um, also, side note, so Duncan has a birthday tomorrow. Sophia has a birthday. Oh my god, it's Sophia's birthday. I didn't even know. Well, that's good to know. So we can make Lucy a toddler today. That's exciting. Um, Lucy ages up in nine days and Gobias becomes an elder in four days. So he old. So, okay, we're going to ask out on date. Do it, do it, do it. He's such an old little dork. Honestly, poor Gobias. He's kind of getting the short end of the stick here, too, because he's completely unaware that Lucy, her heart is actually with Chris. He has no idea. But, you know, she'll just keep him happy until he dies, I guess. <laughs> wow, this is a really great... Wow. Okay. Where should we go, friends? Let's see. They're not particularly hungry, but... Oh, <gasps> Winter Festival! Winter festival, it's happening. Oh, is is Lucy a Libra? Because me too. Yeet. She's a Libra. Like, me too. All right, I'm going to cut back when I get to the festival. Okay, fam, we're back. We are at the winter festival. We're skating with Gobias. It's super cute. Um, we've got a child here uh, skating with a complete stranger that is a grown man. I'm concerned. Yikes. Okay, so we're skating. Oh, 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 Gobias is about to eat shit. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, oh, no, he, he saved it. A nice recovery. Oh, wait, is he on the ground? Did he fall? Oh, no. <laughs> the child and the grown man, they fell. Can they spin? I want them to spin together. <gasps> They're gonna spin. <gasps> I imagine that this is like, like this was all Lucy's idea. He was like, wanna go on a date? And she was like, yeah, okay, honey. And he was like, okay, whatever you wanna do. And she was like, oh, let's go skating. Cause she's so young, you know what I mean? She's in her late twenties, you know, or like mid, she's what, nine days? Yeah, she's probably in like her mid to late twenties. Like, you know, she's so young. She wants to go skating, but you know, all those days are behind go bias, but he's still just, you know, he just wants to make her happy because he loves her a lot. So he's like, whatever you want, honey, I'll go skating and potentially hurt myself. Oh, this is so cute. Wait, I got to get a good screenshot. Look at this winter wonderland we've got behind us. I mean, how beautiful is this? Oh, I mean, I don't ship it because yuck, but like, you know what? No judging. Whatever makes them happy, right? Oh, 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 Pfft. there they go. Rip. <laughs> they down. Oh my god, this is funny. Wait, this is, this is a good screenshot. This is quality content. Right here. Gobias on his face. Lucy, just helpless to stop. <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, oh no, I should not have taken this old coot skating. Bad plan. Bad plan. Abort mission. Send help. S.O.S. So when you near me, darling, can't you hear me? S.O.S. I love ABBA. Did I tell you I saw the Mamma Mia sequel? That was a while ago. That was like two weeks ago, but still. I'm still living for the Mamma Mia sequel. <laughs> Look, he's so alarmed. Oh my god. This poor man. Okay. I think it's time for them to eat. So we're going to end the skating here. This is going very well, but we've been here long enough. And by long enough, I mean like not even an hour, but it's fine. We're going to eat here with date. Okay, so we're at the restaurant. They're gonna go inside. Oh, this is so cute. Look at all this little ivy. Oh my God. They're gonna have a great date. It's gonna be awesome. They're in their formal wear. Ugh. Oh, and here comes the classy Italian music. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff here, guys. I'll cut back when they get out, I guess. Okay, we've just emerged from the restaurant, and now, Gobias, my dude, it is time to make the moves. It is time to make the moves. Ooh, look at that tie, though. 
Look at his tie. What a classy guy. Gobias, I love you. You are a class act, let me tell you. Okay. Uh, flirty. Compliment her appearance. Tell her she looks just beautiful. Compliment personality. Uh, whisper in her ear. What is, what does childish do? Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. Um, not the time and place, buddy. Oh, I have whisper in ear twice. Just kidding. Um, embrace. Come on. Make them moves, boy. Ooh. Ooh. We have plans. People to see. M meaning each other. Honey, what are you doing? Don't get in the way of my, of my moments here. Ooh, she like, she like, she like. Come on, go bias. I believe in you. Meanwhile, our children are dying because the babysitter is not taking care. I'm sorry. I need to just... This challenge is not about the kids, so I don't find it cheating to cheat their needs when the babysitter literally won't do their job. But it's fine. All right. Embrace. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Also, by the way, her... Uh, dress here was on my tumblr was is on my tumblr beautiful cc love it super cute she looks amazing <gasps> lucy who is that no ignore we are doing important things at the moment this is important okay buddy you need to get out of my screenshot uh you know i'm just gonna i'm just gonna mm, bye <laughs> <gasps> Toodaloo. Oh, guys. They are goals. I mean, not really. I do not have sugar daddy goals. Just, just a disclaimer. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> like, not even a little bit. Okay, um, what else can we do here? I mean, we've pulled out all the stops already. Like, what more does she want, right? Uh, kiss. It's getting late already. We've gotta, we've gotta get going on this. Come on, she's gotta be our girlfriend by the end of this episode. Amorous hug. Um, romantic. Uh, give her an amazing massage. That seems to work, I would think. All right, she thinks we're being very alluring, so that's going well, I guess. He's getting tired. We don't have time for this. Ya old coot. Um, embrace her again. Kiss her again. Come on. Oh, extremely irresistible. This should be it. Propose going steady. Oh, she looks so happy. Like, Chris has never asked this of her. Chris never said, hey, be my girlfriend. It was just kind of assumed that they would be because, you know, they had a kid together. You know what I mean? Like, there was no formality to any of it with Chris. And now she's getting that with, with Gobias. Uh, people seem to be whispering Gobias's name. Gobias is now a notable figure. Oh, my God. Uh, they're celebrities? I didn't ask for this. I keep forgetting to turn celebrities off. Just ignore that. It's fine. Um, okay, but also, we're not finished here. Plot twist. There is more. But wait, there's more. Can the babysitter please put Sophia down? Oh, Guys, I'm happy for her. Like, while this might not be exactly what she wanted, like... She is, she's getting what she wants. You know what I mean? It might not be who she wants it with exactly, but she is getting what she wants. Like, Lucy always gets what she wants, I feel like. Like, I feel like she's just one of those girls that always gets what she wants. And you know what, guys? We're going for it. Here we go. This might seem a little sudden for a lot of people, but this was my plan for this episode. I planned this for a while. I want them to get married, even though they weren't even going steady. I feel like they've been seeing each other long enough. You know what I mean? That it's not weird. Wait, I have to turn headline effects off. <sighs> mm. 
It's happening. Lucy's finally getting her engagement that she always wanted. I'm happy for her. Oh, guys, my girl. This is amazing. I'm so happy for her. She's see, Lucy always gets what she wants. Whatever Lucy wants, Lucy gets. Original lyric is Lola, in case anybody was wondering. But it's true. Oh, honey, honey. She's so happy. They're gonna get married. <gasps> yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. And now they have, like, reputations. The whole town knows. Oy vey. Okay, well, I'm gonna send them home. They're gonna seal the deal with some woohoo, if you know what I'm saying. So we're gonna go on home. Okay, so we are home. The date, like, ended, but, like, not really. So we are not risky woohooing. I have had quite enough of that. <laughs> we do not want any more accidental babies. Not anymore. And uh, you may find this a bit inhumane of me, but Duncan is currently sleeping on the floor because he has this bed because he becomes a child so soon. I didn't want to buy him a crib because he ages up, like, today. Also, um, Sophia never aged up. So I don't really know what's up with that. But um, they're just making out. I think maybe we should reset Sophia just in case she's like glitched or something no you know what we'll let her sleep through the night we'll deal with it in the morning because then we'll have to have someone put her back in the crib because if you reset her she'll come out of the crib but oh also I have like interesting story problems with Duncan here because he he grew up calling Chris his dad like he knows, like, he thinks, well, not thinks, he, oh, there are the duck pajamas. They're back, folks. A triumphant return. Love him. Um, so, like, Duncan thinks, like, Duncan knows that Chris is his dad, and he thinks that Sophia is his full sister, and that, you know, mommy and daddy had a second baby. Like, and he's, like, he's still a toddler, but he's going to be a child tomorrow. So he's, like, gonna be, like, five or six. So he's old enough to start questioning things. And, like, he's old enough to know that something is going on with mom and, and this man. Like, he's he saw his mom and his dad fighting. And now they're not with dad anymore. And they're with, and, you know, they're with this man. And I imagine that Lucy wants, because go by, she, bleh, I can't talk. Lucy has not told Gobias about Chris. Gobias does not know about Chris. He does not know that Chris thinks Sophia is his baby. Like, everything is so messy. Like, I feel like Lucy just did not think any of this through. So now she's engaged to this man. They're going to be married. And she's still with Chris and Chris still thinks they have two children together when you know they have one like and Gobias has gone out of his way to accommodate Lucy's child because Duncan is not his and I mean obviously he knows this because in the timeline of the relationship there's no way that he could possibly be Duncan's father so but for all he knows Duncan is the product of a past relationship that is over he has no idea that Lucy is still seeing Chris and Chris has no idea that she's seeing go bias. And Chris has no idea that Sophia isn't his baby. Like, it's just a mess. And, like, what is the protocol here? Like, oh, they're gonna snuggle. I love when they do that. Like, what is the protocol here? Like, does does Duncan just see him as, like, an uncle? Is he just, like, good old Uncle Gobi? <laughs> uncle Gobi? Like, they're just, like, maybe that's it. Maybe Lucy is telling him that he's just a friend and, you know, just call him Uncle Gobi. And, you know, he's they're just staying with him for now while they work out stuff with Daddy. And, you know, it's just good old Uncle Gobi. Because, oh no, there's a baby crying. The episode's gonna end really soon, though, so I'm just gonna keep talking. Because Duncan can't know that 
Lucy is getting married to Gobias because then he'll tell Chris because he's a little kid and doesn't understand. You know what I mean? Like, it's just very, very messy. So she's going to have to get married behind her son's back and lie to him about who Gobias is. But then would Gobias not be like, hey, I just married your mom. Like, I, I, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't, and I don't want to split up the kids because Lucy doesn't want to split them up, but it might have to come down to uh, Duncan living with Chris and Sophia living with Lucy and Sophia just going back and forth. I'm going to stop my timer. Like, maybe, like, when, when Chris and Lucy are together, she, they have both the kids, but then when they split... No, because then, oh god, guys, this is so complicated. You have to tell me what to do in the comments, because this is, like, such a mess. And, I mean, Lucy has made up her mind. Like, she's marrying Gobias, and, like, I'm sure part of her doesn't even care if Chris finds out. I mean, preferably he doesn't, because she doesn't want to lose him, because when, you know, because Gobias becomes an elder in three days. So, you know, Potentially, when Gobias dies, she wants to, you know, be back with Chris. I mean, she's still upset with him right now because of that fight they had. I mean, like, if you look at their relationship, it's still not too good. But she wants to eventually fix that and reconcile with him and, you know, get back together once Gobias dies. And she inherits all this money. But wouldn't he have to know, like, where all the money came from and why she has this house and... Oh, guys, guys, this is messy. This is messy. So you have to tell me what I should do in the comments. And so, yes, we had an engagement today. It was great. Um, Sophia was supposed to age up and she didn't. So I'm concerned. Um, I'm probably going to do that off camera um, just so that she's a toddler by the time we get back. But in the next episode, we're going to have a birthday party for Duncan. But we're going to spend it with Chris because Chris is three days with the with Emma and the other kids are up. So we're going to move back into the tiny little house with the two kids, Lucy and Chris, these two kids here. Uh, so it'll be Duncan, Sophia, Lucy, and Chris back in the little house. So, uh, Lucy will just tell Gobias that she's going on a little overnight trip. We'll celebrate Duncan's birthday in the little house and then we'll come back. So in two episodes, we will have Lucy and Gobias' wedding. But in the next episode, we'll have a little party for Duncan. And yeah, so I know that I've just talked a lot in the last five minutes, and I'm sorry. But there's a lot going on. Like, this is a literal soap opera. Like, you guys have expressed to me that it feels like a soap opera. And I completely agree 100%. And I need your advice on how to handle said soap opera. I have no idea what to do. Like, the story is getting so messy. I never... I, oh, I just banged my elbow. Ow. I never anticipated it being this messy. Like, my... Like, the whole point of this series was like double life for the man to have the double life and just the drama that ensues between the two women and the kids but now like Lucy also is living a double life like I never even thought this would happen and it happened without me even knowing like Lucy was seeing go bias while we were with Emma like and I didn't even know like the game generated this relationship automatically I didn't even tell like I did not anticipate this happening but it's making it so interesting but also so complicated and I'm having fun but it's so confusing and I need you guys to tell me what I should do so I'm open to all of your suggestions I love like getting ideas from you guys because it feels like you're playing with me and it's super cool and I love all of you very much so I value your opinions so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already and to leave a comment. I just talked about how much I love your comments, so please do it. And yeah, this is Simmer Rose. Have a great day, guys.